steal something from someone who has nothing to steal. That's real. What's going on guys? It's me, Bubba213, and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel. Yesterday, the Global PSO2's Twitter account released a tweet about Mission Pass Season 11, which is the Mission Pass that comes out with Episode 6. So, obviously from the picture, you can tell it has a wintery theme uh, with Santa Claus and Mrs. Claus there. So I'm pretty sure it's going to be a lot of winter themed things in this Mission Pass, but I'm also interested to see what else is in the past so without further ado let's click over there and see what's in there all right so first what i'm interested in is the feature pat um reward and usually at the top here it is it's the key revelate so i'm not really sure i haven't so, so if you guys didn't know i didn't play the jp version of ps2 this is my first time playing so i'm not too sure what that is but i'm pretty sure they'll let me know uh later on in the um the post so Let's keep going. All right, so we got some normal tier rewards. We got the Liberation camo for the Partisan Wand and the Katana. We have a Christmas present for all you guys who like to decorate your personal um, quarters. And we have a, a moat here. I'm not sure which one that is. All right, for gold tier rewards, we have the Long Scarf. It's just a scarf. <laughs> we have another scarf. We have a Wallet Chain. I know a lot of people may use that one depending on what the outfit they got on is. Made headband, and we have the female wasp cast set. So if you guys didn't know, I play, I decorate my character or accessorize my character as a cast. So I will be very interested to see what cast parts are in uh, this mission pass. Um, maybe I can, you know, change what I look like and stuff like that. So let's see what else we have here. So we have a mask, we got a handheld lantern, and then the first winter e stuff, we got the Santa suit and the Santa hat with beard. This is the stuff we've seen in the, you know, picture that they advertised season 11 with. We got some knee high stockings for female um, characters. Then the first cast set is the sheriff set. So you got the sheriff head, arms, body, and legs. So going off of these, let's see, those are okay not really i think for the sheriff i'm only interested in the head the headpiece is pretty cool uh everything else not too much so moving on we got the gold crescent um accessories for your head they look pretty good i wouldn't use them they don't really go on my character um these fans i've seen in um some ps2 jp videos and i was very interested to see how you get these and you know knowing that they come for this i'm very excited because I'll be switching to Etwall, so I will be using Sword Blade, so this may be a cool camo I may use on that character when it comes out on the 9th. Next, we got the Matori and the Luther head mounts. We got the Mrs. Claus outfit. We got another hairstyle, some more tights, the Mrs. Claus head, a uh, Rod, Partisan, and Wine weapon camo. That's pretty cool. That outfit is really cool, actually. I like this outfit, but if I wasn't my cast, <laughs> so if I wasn't my cast, I'd probably use this, but uh, probably not right now, but they do look really cool. Uh, we got more hairstyles, some hats, a pirate outfit, the Drake head. That's a cool little outfit um, for cast. Those legs are pretty good too. I like the legs. And then the female pirate set. So if you're um, a female cast, this would be what yours look like. All right, so we got a Rappy Evolution device, some more camos, some more winter themed stuff. Another cast, there's three different cast pieces in here. Okay. Um, I would say the arms on this one look the best. Like the arms, uh, I think I would be using for this one. And the legs, the legs look good too. And then the female version of that cast set is here too. So it's three different cast sets. We got, what, what is it? the sheriff the sheriff one we got the drake and we got the fulton or for foreign uh heads for cast and then the another um void fragment will be in here at tier 15 so i'm pretty sure it's not 10 it's probably gonna be more than that and then the key revelate this is what i was talking about in the beginning i'm not really sure what it's used for but usually it's right yep yeah, it's right here 
Uh, the key revelry is used to upgrade the novel series of 15 star weapons. Uh, two 15 star weapons. Okay. And then the void fragments are used for the Xeon series. So we already know that. So yeah. Um, if you're looking forward to the novel series to the 15 stars, um, there you go. Your key revelry right there. Uh, I'm not sure if I'll be doing it since I went through so much work to get my Trailblazer stuff. <clears throat> I went through a lot. Um, but finally, I got most of my Trailblazer stuff done. By uh, the time it will come out, I definitely will have it done. So I don't think I'll be switching, but it's just something good to have. So if you're excited for this mission pass, let me know down in that comment section. Let me know what's your favorite part of this mission pass that you're looking forward to. Because yeah, I'd be very interested to see that stuff. If you want to see more PSO2 from the channel, please subscribe down below. Um, and make sure you leave a like on this video because that really helps the video grow. And other people outside of you guys to see my videos. Uh, and that's really it for this video. Uh, if you want to see more from the channel, subscribe again. And if you want to see me do anything or read anything and stuff like that, let me know down in that comment section. But guys, as for me, it's been about the two, one, three, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Have a fantastic day. Yeah.